Madeline Laingle Kemp was born in New York City on November 29, 1918, and named after her great-grandmother, Madeline Laingle. Her mother was a pianist and was also named Madeline. Her father, Charles Wadsworth Kemp, was a writer, a critic, and a foreign correspondent. He suffered lung damage from exposure to mustard gas during World War I, although many relatives disputed this and claimed his illness was caused by alcoholism. La Engel wrote her first story at age five and began keeping a journal at age eight. She attended a private school in New York City. She was a shy, clumsy teenager and was branded by many of her teachers as stupid. Unable to please them, she retreated into her own world of books and writing. Because her parents did not agree on how to raise Madeline, they sent her off to a number of boarding schools. Madeline found that she would rather write stories, poems, and journals for herself than study. The family moved a lot and at one time lived in a chateau in the French Alps in hopes that the clean air would help her father's lungs. Madeline was sent to a boarding school in Switzerland. In 1933, the family moved to Florida. Later, she was sent to another boarding school, Ashley Hall, in Charleston, South Carolina. Her father passed away in 1935. Madeline's passion for writing continued to grow. She flourished during her high school years at Ashley Hall and vacationed with her mother in a rambling old beach house on a Florida beach. She went to Smith College and studied English with some wonderful teachers as she read the classics and continued her own creative writing. She graduated with honors and moved into an apartment in New York City's Greenwich Village. She worked in the theater where a flexible schedule allowed her time to write. During this time, she published her first book, The Small Rain. Shortly after the publication of her first book, she met and married a handsome actor, Hugh Franklin. Soon thereafter, the couple had a baby girl. The couple, now with three children, moved to Connecticut. Their oldest child was Josephine. Beor was the middle child. Ultimately, the family adopted Maria when her parents, Madeline and Hugh's best friends, both died. During their time in Connecticut, the family ran a small dairy farm and managed a general store. Madeline La Engel's writing has caused controversy. She has received criticism from diverse audiences. Some conservative Christians claim her writing is too worldly, while secularists claim her writing is too overtly Christian. For example, ministers have spoken against her, and she was considered dangerous with many librarians moving her books to the back shelves. When accused of not being a Christian writer, La Ingalls stated she is a writer struggling to be a Christian. La Engel was a practicing Episcopalian who attended daily church services and who stated she felt called to daily prayer, scripture, and devotion. La Engel said, I think if we speak the truth and are not afraid to be disagreed with, we can make big changes. The biggest obstacle is often within us. We get so frightful. La Engel believed her Episcopal upbringing with its language and imagery has influenced her craft as a writer. She has lectured to congregations of all denominations and never tried to change her voice depending on the church, but always said she spoke from her heart. She claimed, we can worship many ways and still be one. Most of the children who read La Engel's books probably ignore the theological details. Instead, they are enthralled by the creativity and characters in her books. La Engel was a quiet person whose voice filled with passion when she spoke on subjects she cared so deeply for, her writing, faith, and relationships. She claimed when she wrote she was listening and not at all in control. Although best known as a writer of children's books, Madeline La Engel also wrote poetry, adult fiction, memoirs, biblical commentary, and essays about the relationship between art and faith. La Engel has published over 50 books and been presented with numerous honorary doctorates. Both her fiction and nonfiction works have been translated into many languages.
In 1963, Madeline was awarded the John Newberry Medal for A Wrinkle in Time. This award recognizes the most distinguished contribution to American literature for children. Newberry, along with the Caldecott Medal, are considered the two most prestigious awards for children's literature in the U.S. For a book to be considered for a Newberry Medal, first the book must be published in English in the U.S. the previous year. Second, the author must be a U.S. citizen. Third, the book is considered for its theme, presentation, plot, characters, setting, and style. Fourth, the book must relate to a child audience. Fifth, the book must contribute to literature. And finally, the book must stand alone and not as part of a multimedia presentation. In her award-winning book, A Wrinkle in Time, a young girl, Meg Murray, and her brother, Charles Wallace, go on a cosmic journey through space and time with the help of three witches. Mrs. Who, Mrs. What's It, and Mrs. Witch. The children find that they are caught traveling in a planet called Kamazots, where they encounter a re repressed society where everything is uniform in its looks and action. Even the children playing are like robots with balls bouncing at the same time. This society is controlled by an evil brain called It. Eventually, along with a neighbor friend, Calvin O'Keefe, the children find their father and transport back to Earth with him. Charles Wallace, the youngest child, is left behind, and Meg must transport back to the planet to get him. In doing so, she ends up in yet another planet and encounters Beast, and is nearly killed while going through a black hole. She realizes she must confront the evil ruler, It, in order to return home. Meg ultimately conquers It with love, an emotion It cannot fight against. After conquering it, she frees her young brother, and they return home. A Wind in the Door is a young adult science fantasy novel that is a sequel to A Wrinkle in Time. This is a story of Meg trying to help her little brother, Charles Wallace, who has a unique illness. Meg tries to talk with his school principal to stop the other children from bullying Charles Wallace on account of his illness. Because of his illness, Charles Wallace is biologically different and the first to discover the scientific basis of his illness. He realizes that in order to survive, he must adapt to his environment. The children realize that the basis of his illness is an evil force in the world whose desire is to extinguish creation. Fortunately, the power of love is again able to conquer evil. Thanks to Meg and Charles Wallace's scientific discovery, they are able to save Charles Wallace, and in the process, Meg learns the importance of forgiveness. Meet the Austins is the first book in a series of books chronicling the Austin family. The family initially consists of Mr. and Miss Austin and their four children, Vicki, John, Susie, and Robert. Mr. and Miss Austin adopt Maggie, a spoiled, troubled only child who had very little family life even before her parents died in a tragic plane crash. Maggie brings upheaval to an otherwise tranquil family. Conflict arises in the house on a daily basis, and the family must learn how to adapt, while Maggie learns how to interact with brothers and sisters. Another one of La Engel's children's books, The 24 Days Before Christmas, is a delightful book about the Austin family preparing for Christmas and celebrating each day of Advent in a special way by baking, hanging mistletoe, making ornaments, and opening small gifts. Vicki is seven years old and asked to be an angel in her class Christmas pageant. She is tall, skinny, and awkward, and must practice walking with books on her head to prepare for the play. Vicki overhears her teacher talk about how clumsy she is as an angel. This crushes Vicki, and she wishes she did not have to be in the play. She memorizes her lines and by the last practice wins her teacher over. The day of the pageant, there is a strong snowstorm. The blizzard is so fierce that it cancels the Christmas pageant. Vicki was disappointed until she got news that her new baby brother was born. As an article written shortly after her death notes, Madeline Le Engel was the first children's author to mix quantum mechanics with witches and to mix science with religion. La Ingalls' novels garnered her numerous awards and accolades, including the Newbery Honor Award for A Swiftly Tilting Planet and A Ring of Endless Light, the National Religious Book Award for Ladder of Angels, and honorary doctorate degrees from at least 15 universities across the country.